Today I explained this thing to, to a friend of mine. It's, it's a very mind-blowing explanation. And I think it's, it's very important for us to, to think about it, like really, literally to go deep and, and to try to understand how the Creator makes, makes the world work. There, there is an outside layer to creation. That's what we see with our eyes. That's what we, um, that what, what we smell and, and feel and can sense, all those things. And there is, there are hidden aspects to the world. It means after you see, so the light is coming into your mind. After you smell, so the smell is getting into your brain. After you taste, so it gets into your body. After you eat. And also, on, on the other side, when a person is going to the bathroom, so the waste and the filth is going down the drain and disappearing. When you wash your hands, so the filth is going down the drain and disappearing. And also, when you cook, so steam is rising and going up and blending the air and it... it disappears from the world. So there are aspects that we can see and there are aspects that we cannot see in the world. Now, the world is built in an ideal way, means the great potential of the world, how the world, how it's supposed to to work and to function properly and that everything will work like it was supposed to work in the Garden of Eden. And there is the negative outcome of after the sins, after the violations, that the world is like destroyed, is ruined in a way. It, it doesn't work like properly, like it's supposed to. So I explained to that person today, and it was a very important explanation, that the world, when it is corrected, when it's fixed, when it's balanced, it doesn't mean that everything is clean. And people don't go to the bathroom anymore. Or people don't have uh, like uh, saliva that they need to spit or something like that. No. But the, like the world is, is continuing in its routine. But things are taking place in a balanced way. It means that a person is doing the things that he needs to do that has a certain attachment to darkness. It means what that needs to go down the sewer will go down the sewer, but not more than that. Means that what that will feed the back end of the world, the other side of the world, the side that is hidden from us, that this is actually the Sitra Achra, the other side, the side that is hidden from our eyes, the dark side of the moon, the, the one that is blocked and we cannot see it, a person will feed that dark side only in a certain amount that will give it the power to keep on rolling the, the, the system, that the, the, the machine of the world will work, but not more than that. But when, God forbid, a person, let's say, is killing someone or wasting his uh, sperm seed or something that is inappropriate, or eating something that is not kosher, that is not right, or talking bad things that getting into the ears of another person, like Lashon Hara, like bad speeches and stuff like that. So then the dark side, the hidden side, is getting more power than it was supposed to. And then he takes that power against the world. He takes more energy than he's supposed to have. And then he takes all that energy and goes and try to manipulate the world to give him more energy, more negativity to create and to destroy even more and more and more. And then the world is like, Avera goeret Avera, one sin drags another sin. And mitzvah, on the opposite side, is dragging mitzvah. When a person is doing a good thing, so then positive energy is reviving the world and become the positive energy that gives life and create life. So... The main and only thing that we have to do is all the time, but all the time, to try to do the best that we can and to avoid all kinds of, of negativity. And there is not much more than that to, uh, uh, to do.